Hello my YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my top five favorite high-end highlighters. You know, all those high-end brands that you don't find at the drugstore. If you're interested in seeing my top five favorite highlighters that are more high-end and not drugstore, then just keep watching. The first highlight I'm going to talk about is probably my ultimate favorite one of all. This is the Laura Mercier Highlight in Zero One. This is it right here. This is kind of a neutral champagne white gold kind of color. I think it's really beautiful. It looks the most natural out of all of them that I have. This is going to be the highlight that I wear on my wedding day. The packaging is a little bulky so it's maybe not as travel friendly but this is definitely my all-time favorite highlight that looks the most flattering on my skin. The second highlight that I have to talk about is Soft and Gentle by MAC. Now this is also again a baked formula. It's absolutely beautiful. I would relate it to Champagne Pop. Uh, that's just kind of my opinion. That on my hand is it swatched right there. All of these formulas stay on my skin really well throughout the day. This is definitely more of a natural looking highlight. It's not going to be like Becca's formula. I have just had this for so long. It does have a little bit more of a sparkle to it rather than just kind of like a sheen on your face. So just keep that in mind. But this is so versatile and this is one of the highlighters that I've had the longest. My next favorite highlight is from The Balm. It is the Mary Luminizer. Now just a heads up this does tend to break people out I don't uh, think it's the ingredients in it so just keep that in mind if you are someone who has more sensitive skin and really can break out pretty easily I would not get this product but for myself I think it's absolutely stunning it's really great on fair skin tones just because of how light it is it's definitely more of a white gold it's tend to emphasize the texture on your cheeks so if you do have texture on your cheeks just a heads up, it may do, it may make it look a little bit more noticeable. And that's it swatch. Actually not a natural highlight, it is more in your face. This stays on my face a long, long time. And I don't think I'm ever gonna go through this. This is a really big pan size for a highlighter, so. I'm really happy with this one. My next favorite highlighter is from Ofra Cosmetics, and this is the You Glow Girl highlight. It is more of a pink toned highlight than the rest of my highlights. I like this definitely more in the winter time when everything's a little bit more icy. The dupe that girls did a really good job at this formulation. I think it looks so, so pretty. And there is another one. It's called You Do You and it's gold, but I don't have a ton of pink highlights so I wanted to kind of jump out of my comfort zone and I happen to love this highlight. Lastly, I have more of a formulation than a specific highlight favorites. Um, I'm sure you guys already know what's coming. This is the Becca, the Becca Cosmetics highlighters. And I know there was a whole bunch of conspiracy and drama and whatever going on with the, Jack the uh, Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. We're going to move past that. I still think Becca is a beautiful, great brand. And I think they make awesome highlights. So I think my probably fa all-time favorite is Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. It's just... You can see I've made a little dent in it. I'm never gonna go through these highlighters. They're so pigmented. So I barely touch it and that's the payoff that you get. This kind of highlight looks really good on dark skin tones as well as really fair. This highlight really flatters all different types of skin tones. And then this one is Moonstone. This came out, this is just one of the original Becca Cosmetics highlights and this is more of a white gold. And my last favorite highlight from Becca has to be Prosecco Pop. It's only in this Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne uh, face palette. That's a really long name, but it is only in this palette. I wish they would come out with just a single of it, but it is this gold one right here. On fair skin tones, this really is just going to look like a stripe of yellow on your face, but if you are more tan or dark in skin tone, then I think this would look absolutely beautiful. A lot of people blend this with Champagne Pop, but that is Prosecco Pop right there. I think Becca does an awesome job at formulating their highlights, and they're just extreme. They're just is the best highlight formula I can think of and I think that the types of highlights that come out with really flatter all different kinds of skin tones. They do have another one called Pearl that's lighter than Moonstone if you're really, really fair. And they also have, you know, rose gold and copper and they have a bunch of other highlights that just are too dark for my skin tone. But overall, I love 
love the formulation. I think they stay on my face the longest and they look the most pigmented on my face. So those are all the highlights that I absolutely love that are more high end. And if you guys are interested in seeing my top five favorite highlights from the drugstore, definitely leave me a comment down below telling me that. If you have any other high end highlights, I would love to hear about them down below in the comments. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.